My name is uh, Jolayemi Ola Tonji. I'm um, the maintenance uh, manager for the Cathedral Church of Christ, Marina Lagos. And uh, my duty basically is to see to the maintenance of all the assets and equipment of the church, which is include um, the organs, uh, the musical organ of the church, the power clock, the motor vehicle, and other equipment of the church. And that, that is uh, my duty majorly. Uh, the technical subcommittee is saddled with the responsibility of um, uh, maintenance of all the church uh, assets, as, I, as I've said. And uh, again, I majorly see day-to-day -day running of these uh, equipments. And uh, the power clock basically is uh, one of the assets of the church which the uh, the community where the church is situated look onto that uh, clock every time and uh, the little history i know about it uh, i believe the tower clock itself i can really say precisely when that thing happens but i know when we were young uh maybe in the 70s i don't know there about there was no face on the tower no clock face on the tower but later you know, as a young uh, child you don't you don't you don't know when this thing just come up suddenly we just saw it that was around late 70s and uh, since then i myself have been interested in that uh, in that uh, tar clock and uh, i was told later that a family uh, take it up upon themselves. That's the Uburo family. They've been uh, volunteer to uh, take care of the maintenance of the clock. And in doing that, the late Papa Uburo uh, set up a trust fund towards the maintenance of the of the clock and uh, since then I think the church has been doing if there's any maintenance about it we report to the family and family will undertake that uh, the cost we pay they pay for it the tower clock is um, basically functioning on uh, both electrical and uh, battery backup. We have the uh, UPS that powers when there is no uh, public uh, power system. And uh, the tower clock, tower clock and bell because it has uh, uh, a chiming bells. Tower clock and bells are working differently. They have uh, different controllers, but we have to synchronize both together so that you, when, when it is uh, one o'clock, so that the, the bell will not uh, charm until, uh, uh, you will not charm differently and uh, the clock will not work uh, differently. 
and we synchronize uh, both together and uh, they are functioning uh, well. Anytime the clock is down, right, the people around will call and uh, most of the people around the marina now, most of them have my number. And I don't know how they get about it. They will just uh, call me, ah, your tower clock is not working, no. your tower clock is late, oh. you know, and uh, I will quickly come and uh, either reset it or uh, if he has any other, any issues, we, we correct it and it began, it become uh, functional again. The girl I sold to you, I think it was uh, the first uh, bell. That one, I think that one is manual, manual drawn bell. The bell is as old as the church. I think it's about 150 years old. But the day I saw on that, uh, the year I was about 18 something. Uh, the bell is as well. That's why in the olden days I was told that the church was being called uh, Church Alagogo because of that bell. You know, that's why they named the church Church Alagogo. But unfortunately, we don't have uh, that kind of. Uh, a lot of our children does not know much about it now. You know, but. Seriously, we are we are also concerned about the history of those uh, of the clock, especially, and the history of the church. And we are trying as much as possible to put some pieces together and uh, get those uh, history right. And we are going to we, we we are trying as much as possible to dig out uh, in so many areas. We, go to National Archives and uh, National Library to find out information. The same people are brought to find out information about all those things. And we are trying as much as possible to even uh, set up uh, an archives for the church so that we can have uh, all the histories of the, of the church. You know, that's what uh, we are doing now. Uh, anytime we are painting the church, we always take the opportunity to clean up the face of the cathedral, of the tower clock, one after the other. And we've been uh, doing that recently, I think, about, um, about the, before Christmas last year. We do some external painting in the church and uh, we clean up the face and uh, they, are, they are shining rather than the problem.